discover that there is much treasure in rejection. Whenever you pass through rejection, or people only tolerate you, they don't celebrate you. It's a sign that you carry something that cannot be contained in a small container. What you just need to do in life is to identify the people that can really make you succeed. And as I said, and I repeat, success means you trying to do something above your normal limitation that negates you growing positive. Why would a woman want to sell her best to make it in life? Hello beautiful viewers and welcome to another tremendous edition of your motivational and life transforming program Rising Prime, a program that motivates every ramifications of life. Thank you very much for those of you that have been following us on Facebook, on YouTube and those of you that have been calling in, sending in your comments. We appreciate you sincerely. A lot of people called in in regards to our speaker last week that they were highly motivated. Don't worry. The same speaker shall be motivating you, but this time in the area of marriage this week. You know how we do it. Let's go on a short break. We shall be right back. As usual, my name is Israel Akinde. You're welcome. You may be a shoe shiner, that doesn't mean you can shine. It is motivational. It is educative. It is grossly informative. What a source of strength to the discouraged and depressed. Rising Prime, a motivational television magazine on this station, focusing on the starting point, the challenges, the achievements, the processes, the failures, and the success story. These and many more forms part of the program when we interview highly positioned and respected Nigerians. You don't want to miss it. Get educated, entertained, and motivated on Rising Prime. Rising Prime. A life-transforming program. Welcome back. And if you're just tuning into your favorite TV channel, it is Rising Prime. And our guest for this week remains Pastor Prince Will Ihedibo, the CEO of Petrol Digital Printing Press in Abuja. Let's continue the chat with him. I am Rising Prime. No matter what may come my way. I will not give up on life I will not anymore. give up. I will not give up. I, I am rising pride. Going into marriage. Mm. Marriage is a union between two opposite sex. Focusing on bringing forth offsprings. Now, you got married as a young man while you were running your business. What would your advice be for this couple? Because we understand that when you got married for a very long while there was no children no kids no fruit of the moon nothing and here you're facing the challenges of your business and marriage no kids you know that alone could get people demoralized what would your advice be for those couples out there that maybe five years of marriage ten years of marriage no kids and they, they are wondering if they are meant to be for each other. What would your advice be for them? Well, for marriages and homes, my first advice to a married couple is to be sure they marry their love and their life partner. That's what they call a life partner. You know, so make sure you are going to marry or get married to your life partner, to your love, to your friend, to someone that you will not wake up and say, yeah, I made a mistake, I did not make any mistake. Once that is settled, the next thing is that the Bible said two cannot work together, said they agree. And he said one which is a thousand, two, ten thousand. Once that is, you discover that you have an internal strength in the marriage to stand and withstand the challenges that will come. Because when you're getting married, like I always tell young people, I said now, the first people, you know, the love in the air, tingle, tingle, you know, everybody, uh, you know, it sounds so good. But once you're married, reality downs on you. So if you're married to your friend, to your life partner, to your love, and uh, your, your, whatever challenge is going to come, both of you are going to face it together. Why some people, a lot of couples, disperse and have problems from the word go, is because for sometimes some of them don't even have deep convictions. Some of them cannot stand 
The Bible says that the house that is built upon a rock, when the storms came, when the challenges come, it stood, you know. But the one that was built on on shady, this thing, you know, with that before you know it, they, it's, it's, it's carried away. So that is why you see couples can't stand the test but because that's actually a test, especially number one when you don't have enough. Two, if you uh, if you come across a challenge of not having issues on time, like we did with it for about 10, 11 years, and um, 10, 11 years. Yes. So and many, eventually, so many, eventually, of course, we had uh, the triplets. Triplets. Yes. Wow. Which was a divine uh, <laughs> blessing. You know, but it was, so, so those years, you, your faith to be tested, your families will come inside. That's why I say, when two are working together, don't let the Bible say what God has put together, let no man put us under. Yeah. Not even your mother, not your father. A lot of us have so many external influences. When you are a man, the man is, is a finding the wife, finding a good thing. When you are grown up to be a man, let parental influence be by the side. Your mom cannot come into your home to determine who you, how your home is going to run. Mm -hmm. Your father can come into your home to tell me how you're going, you're going wrong. Otherwise, they will help you to scatter the home. And I always tell young people, I said, your parents have lived their own life. So why should they dictate the pace of your own? A lot of that's, people don't know that. Yes, that's why some couples didn't stay together. Yeah. Because the mother will come and say, this barren woman, what are you doing here? Before they go and arrange another woman. Some parents will be subject the family to all of humiliations. Especially the woman, of course, today. Science is proving that sometimes it's not even the woman's fault. But those days, they say, ah, the woman no the born. Woman, yeah. The man has no fault. You know those kind of things so with understanding and the insight you understand that you have to hold on to god and then hold on to yourselves because you are in this journey together just check most people who have issues with their homes they, i mean they, they, even their own private life becomes almost shattered because there's trouble in their home so once you and your wife are working together and staying and believing god then you can go through the storm together and i think that's what helped us i knew that i was not going to marry another wife and she also knew that there was no so we, we stayed together and um there were, there were challenges there were advices even up to the church people inside the church will be advising your different things because everybody just believed that because there's a problem there they want to put their mouth they want to be you know but no you know no no but then you should be happy you should believe god and again in this our clan people also believe that children is everything mm. and I, I don't think that is everything mm. it's not it's not the bible says the fruit of the womb is his reward is his blessing if it comes to you, praise Ooh. God. Well, but you know how there are some people don't even have issues all their life. Some, uh, you know, they live their life joyfully. You know, some people have died trying to uh, give back by force. Some people even you know? go some extra, extra mile, miles. Like, I, mean, I mean, incredible going stories. To sleep with other ladies, just or some I people mean, even adopt children. You, they they just want that, it you know, by all means. You know that. Yeah, you know, but you know, there are, when people come under pressure, like I said. A lot of things can happen. Pressures from pe parents, pressures from friends, pressures from the environment. Mockery. Yeah, that's the honest truth. There'll be mockery. You know, if you have not gone through it, you will not know what it looks like. Mm. But for those who pass through it, you will understand that it was a, it's a difficult time. But if your foundation is strong, if you are married to your wife, to your life partner, to your partner indeed, then you'll be able to stand through the test. Rising pride, no matter what may come my way, I will not give up on life. I will not anymore. give up. I will not give up. I am rising pride. Heard it all from him. Make sure you marry a life partner so that when the turbulence time comes, you both can stand together and face the challenge. You, you can see there was another challenge of him not having kids for over 11 years. That alone can bring issues in the family. Very quickly, we shall be going into our motivational playlet this week. A lot of people called in that they love the motivational playlet we played last week. We shall be bringing another one your way this week. Please watch it and get motivated. Before in April 1954, the common belief, the universal belief, because it had been tried again and again and again and people had failed, the belief was that man was not physically capable of breaking the four minute barrier, that he could not run a mile in less than four minutes. When something happens to them, they begin to believe that that's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. And they can't see the possibility of it being any different. 250 
50 yards to go and Bannister takes over. Watch his giant stride take him to the front as he races the last lung bursting furlough. Roger Bannister came along and he broke the four minute barrier. Since that time, up to this day, over 20,000 people have done it, including high school kids. 20,000 people, what changed? Here's what happened when they got on the track. They knew it had been done. And because they knew it had been done, there was a new belief about this barrier that was unreachable. And those 20,000 people got in a race believing, knowing in their heart that someone had done it, that it's possible that they could do it. If someone can make that dream become a reality, then you can make your dream become reality. Eyesight and mind sight. Eyesight is judging on what you see. Judging according to appearances. But mind sight is how you interpret what you see. One guy said, it's not possible, it's over, I'm finished. I can't do it. I can't make it. He surrendered. I've faced rejection again and again. I'm not going anymore. There are no jobs out there. But this other guy, he felt that in spite of the no's and rejections, in spite of how bad the economy is, in spite of what the newspapers are saying, that it's possible that somebody somewhere will give me a job. He just kept going, thinking it was possible. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? That's what we have to do with our dreams. Because things happen to you in life that you can never, ever anticipate. And many times when those things happen, you want to give up. Easy is not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. See, it's hard when, when you are 49 years old, been working on a job for 17 years, and they come in and tell you you're finished and give you one week severance pay. And you got to start all over again. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard when you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it. And it doesn't work out, you lose your money and other people's money. You know what I discovered? When you're working at your dream, somebody said, the harder the battle, the sweeter the victory. It's good to you. Why? See, what you become in the process is more important than the dream. That's far more important. The kind of person you become, the character that you build, the courage that you develop, the faith that you're manifesting. Oh, it's, it's something that you get up in the morning, you look yourself in the mirror, you're a different kind of person. You walk with a different kind of spirit. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. But you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. You must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith, and that faith gives you patience. That it's not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. I dare you not to go back to sleep. I dare you to get up, and I dare you to chase your dreams. It's possible you can win. Whatever comes to you, don't run from it. Don't try and duck it like most people do. Step toward it. You want to make your dream come true, you got to stay focused. Some people rather get even than get ahead. Stay focused on where you want to go. going with your life.
Wow, wow, wow. Viewers, I must tell you that I myself am getting motivated by every segment of this program. If you're just tuning into your favorite TV channel, it is Rising Prime, and we shall be going on a musical break. Please stay with us. The program continues. Just hold on and be strong. It won't be long. It will be yours. When I woke up this morning, looking at myself, it be like say I'm shining. See the blessings multiplying, just like the birds in the sky. I'm flying, so divining, we inclining. Take it from me, I see good things are piling. It be okay. Coming one day, make we stay cool, stay cool and keep smiling. Hey. No retreat, no surrender. Don't you give up, don't fight, you're a winner. Easy, hey, hey, hey. it's gonna get easy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Don't you back down, people stand up. If you know you go win, put your hands up. Easy, hey, hey, hey. it's gonna get easy. Hey, hey, hey. Just hold. Baba God give you this life, life So don't let anything to stop you from going so high, high See, it doesn't matter what you do or what you into You have to believe in yourself and be true Easy, hey, hey, hey. it's gonna get easy hey, hey, hey. So don't forget where you're coming from and where you are going No pain, no gain, keep going Easy, hey, hey, hey. it's gonna get easy hey, hey. a lot to work in so i stand in front of you and say don't give up cause you will make it one day cause bitters never win and the winners never quit if you try and you fail don't be shy of the kids cause it takes a lot of courage to keep on moving so stand up on your feet your mistakes don't repeat instead you learn from it rise up god damn it hey, it's too bad and you hell you hey, we don't talk about The groundwork for all happiness is good health. Health and intellect are the two major blessings of life. Let's go very quickly into our inspiring health tips for this week. I am rising prime. No matter what may come my way, I will not give up on life. I will not anymore. give up. I will not give up. I am rising prime. Rise and prime 
No matter what may come my way I will not give up on life anymore I am rising prime From every ugly situation I will not give up on life anymore Say, I am rising prime No matter what may come my way And I hope that someone out there will start working on how to better his or her health. The program will be rounding up shortly, but before we go, of course, you know we can't do without playing our motivational quotes by the previous guest on this program. So please enjoy the motivational quotes for this edition. You may be a shoe shiner, that doesn't mean you can shine. Don't you worry. Don't you cry, don't you ever give up Tears is rising bright We tell you there is hope for the future Celebrities and stars Listen to the stories How the maiden Welcome back and this is where we pause for today's edition and I know someone out there is wishing that the program never comes to an end but the truth is whatever has a beginning must surely have an end. I hope you guys are highly motivated by this edition. I must tell you the truth even myself I am highly motivated by every segment of this edition. If you're just tuning into your favorite TV channel, you didn't miss out totally. Please contact us on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash rising prime, or you search for us, add us on Facebook, rising prime, or you mail us rising prime nig at gmail.com, or you contact the numbers on your screen for more inquiries. Please make it a date with us, same time, same station next week. I remember my humble self, Israel Akinde. And I will say to you, keep yearning, keep learning, and never stop learning. Bye-bye. I am rising prime, no matter what may come my way, I will not give up on life anymore. Rising prime from every ugly situation, I will not give up on life anymore. Say, I am rising prime, no matter what may come my way, I will not give up on life anymore. Even if I fall, I will rise again. Even if I fail, I will start all over. All these are possible